This is Dr. Mark Mugiishi, President and CEO of HMSA. I'm here today to talk to you about the new County of Honolulu order that was announced by Mayor Caldwell a couple of days ago. This is a new order that allows us to release some restrictions based on tiers that are guided by metrics. First, I wanna talk a little bit about those metrics. There are two. One is the number of new cases per day on a seven day average, and the other is the percent positivity of tests. These are really important metrics. There are other things we look at, like for example, how many contact tracers do we have? How many tests can we do? But those are things that are controlled by the government and by the system. The two that are listed as the reason why we're going to move tiers are things that are controlled by the public. They are our behavior. The number of new cases per day on an average reflects the amount of transmission that's taking place in the community, and that is controlled by our behavior, how well we mask, how well we social distance, how well we avoid large gatherings, how we isolate ourselves when we're sick. That's our own behavior, and that's why that's a very important metric. The other one, the percent positivity, is an important one because it tells us the prevalence, how, how common is the disease in our population. And again, we have total control over that, that number will go up if we don't follow good behaviors, and it will go down if we do. The thresholds are set in ways that we can achieve them. 100 as the way that we get below the first tier into the second tier is an achievable goal. It's something that we can do if we really put our mind to it. You know, we're gonna be living with COVID for a long time, and this plan was created to try and make sure that we can live at tiers, and it creates a livable Hawaii that we can all uh, you know, continue to live our lives during the course of fighting this disease. So there are things that are open. We are opening retail, we are opening restaurants, we are doing things like that while maintaining the safe environment that we need to fight COVID. I think all of that is important in the plan. And as we continue to exhibit good behaviors and follow the rules that will allow us to control this virus, we will move from one tier to another and that will allow us to have more freedom, and get back to closer to the lives that we're used to living here in Hawaii. So I ask you all to take this plan to heart, especially the behaviors that will help move the metrics forward so that we can all get back to the Hawaii that we love. Mahalo.